Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do another unboxing video for a new arcade game. This is going to be Shinorobi Pink Label for the XR Arcadia. Just got, got this one delivered today. Ordered it last week. So we're going to take a look at the contents and depending if I remember or not, I might append some gameplay footage for it from day one. But let's get it opened up first. As always, it's our Fadia games come in this nice packaging, standard fare. So let's get this open up. Okay, got it opened up, and as always, I'll set this to the side, always wrapped nicely in some bubble wrap, set that to the side for now, and then we can take a look at the artwork on the label for the box. Turn around this way. All right, so let's get inside of it. And as always, Everything comes inside of the cylinder tube, so you just pull from one end. And I'll set this to the side. Then we decide which end we are going to go inside. game and we have some artwork so this one wasn't like a collector's edition or anything like that so it's not going to be overkill with the artwork it's just going to be your standard arcade fare that comes with it so let's take a look first at the poster, very nice poster there. So I'll turn it around this way. And we'll just go up slowly with it. So as always, the quality of the poster feels good. Nice material, doesn't feel like it's gonna rip or anything like that. So that looks nice. Let's move on to the next set of included items, which are your marquee. So I'm not gonna take that out of the plastic, but standard marquee. Um, looks like the smaller version of the, um, the poster I just showed there. Very nice. And then we have our standard move strips. So let's take a look here. We got two of them. Since there's only two and not like a hundred of them, some games, we'll just take a look. So we have one that are telling you the moves. Four button game, items, medals, and they have a caravan mode, so that's new to the arcade. So I think the biggest thing with the arcade version, if I recall, 
three things. One, they added a caravan mode. Two, they added the, um, the game has a mode to run in um, vertical. Um, the PC version was just a horizontal game. Um, but this one actually has a mode to actually run it in, in vertical. And three, it might be one additional character, one or two additional new characters um, for the arcade version that was not on the console version. But I'll have to check that. So it looks like the move strip is the same thing. It's just one is in Japanese and one is English. Okay. That being said, let's move on to the main event. Let's get this out of here. Easier for myself. Okay. So here is the actual game. Take that out of there. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you get a good view of it. So there's the game cartridge itself. It's called Pink Label and it's literally in a pink cartridge, which is neat. And there you go, the model of it for that one. So there you go, that's the unboxing for um, this newest um, XR Arcadia game. It came out um, this year. So I will um, get it installed in the arcade cabinet over there. And maybe we'll get some quick um, B-roll footage of the track mode. And who knows, I might even put in a corner too. So yeah, thanks for watching. And um, I'll catch you on part two. Okay, everyone. So we got the game installed. And we're going to just try some day one gameplay. So you can see all four games installed there. And we're gonna try it out and see how it plays. Scratcher. Day one. I'll turn the volume down just a little bit. So right now I'm playing on the Sega Press, um, just to try it out and everything else. Um, later on I'll probably install it in the Vulex to get the full vertical experience. Shinarubi, pink label. Interesting, because I thought I had it on free play, but let's get some credits, I guess. Oh, we can go into the menu. Uh, let's just do this. What other settings do we have? English or Japanese? Let's put it on English right now. Auto quit. Three, four, five. Extends. Shinarubi, pink label. Okay. So that updated correctly. Four button game. Let's 
just try out the caravan for the first time and see how that is. Caravan. Oh, okay, I guess they're not gonna let you pick any character. There is a bomb in the smoke. So everything so far seems pretty standard. Controls are good. I'm not feeling any lag. But I just say I don't know any of the patterns, so. For the first time going through the caravan, I cannot complain about it. Okay. All right, so that's caravan mode. Shinobi, pink label. And we will try. Mode. All right, so now you can actually pick the characters. Okay. Control is very smooth. And you can feel the, the tension when you go into beam mode versus the all everything mode. As far as how 
fluid the ship moves around. And we'll just go until I get a game over. Okay, I forgot about the little fever mode and everything else. I have to get used to using all the, the techniques and everything. But I will say so far, it, the game feels fun.
Okay. So there you go, um, a quick look at Shinobi pink label on the X Arcadia, looked at the caravan mode. Shinobi pink label. The um, the arcade mode, and I think there's a score attack mode. So really good game. It feels fun a lot to learn and master with the game. I'm liking it so far. Obviously this is day one impression, so I got a lot to do into it. Um, this is version one of the game there, so literally the first version of it. Um, but I will say I'm not see haven't seen any bugs or anything yet, any crashing, anything like that. So well done on the developer side. So yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to take some time out, um, figure out which character I want to learn to play with first, and then go up there. But um, as always, if you have any questions about anything put a comment on the video. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Talk to you all later. Peace.